I just got to do it. Oh, man. Buenos dias, amigos. We are here in Lake Atitlan. More specifically, we're staying in San Juan, La Laguna. We are gonna be here for about a week, so we're probably gonna do like a two or three part vlog style here. Today, we're gonna get up to a few things. I think we're probably gonna go swimming, maybe some cliff jumping, explore some of the beautiful towns in the area as well. We don't really have too much planned, but throughout the week, we have a lot of things planned, so stay tuned for those. Uh, like I said, a two or a three part series, we haven't really decided yet. First things first, as always, we need to go get some desayunos or some breakfast. And uh, yeah, let's go see some cool views. So the week that we're here in Atitlan is actually called Semana Santa, which is also known as like Holy Week, or as we call it, Easter. Well, next week is Easter, but all over town you'll see these like purple ribbons and these really cool decorations. And I don't know if there's much celebration that goes on in Atitlan, but definitely in Antigua. So unfortunately we're missing that, but if we do get to see any cool stuff, I'll make sure I share it. So Lauren's making me wait for breakfast so that she could get a cheeky little coffee. <laughs> it's really noisy here, but this location is so beautiful. So peaceful here, except for that generator making all that noise. So if you're ever in San Juan La Laguna, this is where we went to go get our coffee. They have really good chocolate here as well. It's a really nice place. All right, let's go get some food finally. bit of a typical Guatemalan breakfast here. Some eggs with some salsa, some crema, some cheese, some refried beans, sausage. Sausage? Plantain? Oh, it's plantain, my bad. I thought it was sausage. Um, some meat, steak, I guess, and watermelon. Looks good. And some lorne. So we actually arrived to San Juan La Laguna last night. We explored a little bit throughout the day and one thing we've really noticed is how colorful this town is. There's so many different artistic places here, lots of really colorful paintings and murals. And this is one of the main streets that heads down to the dock where we're about to head right now. We're gonna take a boat to another town nearby here, but we will share a lot more of San Juan La Laguna as well. We already are so in love with this area. We just arrived in San Marcos, La Laguna, and this view is unbelievable. Lauren had a better view on the boat though, because I got stuck next to a bunch of people inside and Lauren had the front of the boat, so I tried my best to get some shots, but hopefully they came out nice. So we're planning on going cliff jumping and uh, Lauren's a little bit nervous about going cliff jumping, I think sometimes, uh, at least off of high places. So uh, we got these uh, famous things here in Guatemala. It's called uh, Quetzalteca. Mine is Mora or Blackberry. All right, cheers. Cheers. Ooh, it's strong and sweet. One thing we've already noticed about this town is that it's definitely a very hippie town. I love the trees here already in this area. We're just gonna go do a short trail to go see if we can get a good view of the lake here. And I think we will go into the water because it's getting kind of hot. Oh, this is incredibly beautiful. The perfect day to be up here as well, it's so clear. I don't know about you, but I think this might be one of the most beautiful places in Guatemala. So for a little bit of context, that place right ahead of us, that's San Juan La Laguna, that is San Pedro La Laguna, 
This is Volcan San Pedro. That is Volcan Atitlan. And uh, we might be able to hike Volcan San Pedro. We're not too sure because we've heard some bad stories about people getting robbed and things like that. And we're not really sure if it's a, a possibility, but we will definitely look into doing it. Even if it is like a seven, eight hour hike, it, I think it would probably be the most incredible views of the lake you can possibly get. This water is looking so inviting right now. You gonna do that? I'm not sure now. I want to. That's quite far down, but maybe we gotta do it. I don't know. This might be uh, too high even for my liking. I think we need to uh, psych ourselves up a little bit. So we're gonna go check out if there's a smaller one for us to do, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> this is really high up. It's so beautiful though. A little bit more of a perspective of how high up that is now. I think Kyle's going first and I might follow if it's okay. Good luck. Kyle's up there now and it looks like he's just about to join. Oh, my legs are absolutely shaking right now, but I got this yes tattoo on my arm. Shout out to yes theory. I gotta figure out how I'm just gonna do this. Just gotta take the plunge, I guess. I just gotta do it. Oh man. Here we go. How was it? How was it? Really? Yeah, honestly, it's okay, but when you're like in the air, it's terrifying. I don't know if I got the shot because I think I was squeezing the button and I think I went like that because I was so worried about like hitting the water. I really don't know how good that shot came out because I was uh, I was squeezing the button and I think I was holding it right against my face when I hit the water, but I basically started tumbling underwater and that was probably the only scary part about it, but when you first jump off, it looks terrifying. Like you just feel like you're just falling to your death. So much fun, definitely worth it. I'm trying to convince Lauren to go right now, but. <laughs> I'm not really scared, I just don't know. Yeah, like I'm happy to just go down there and do it. Yeah, we'll definitely chill somewhere and just go for a nice casual swim as well. I might retry that shot. I'm shaking right now, my hands are a little bit wobbly. That's definitely the highest I've ever done. So I didn't end up doing it a second time, at least not off the high one. I just did it off the rock there. And um, I did not do it because I was scared of <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead and try and find some food right now. Maybe we'll come back. We haven't quite decided yet. We're just taking it easy today. No real plans. It feels nice to be here. So we decided to get a pizza to share and we're gonna go back to our little swimming spot and chill for a few hours. Since we've been gone, the weather has changed so much and now it's kind of uh, dark and gloomy looking. So I don't think we will be jumping off the jump anymore. <laughs> I think we're probably just gonna hang out on the rocks here and enjoy some delicious pizza. back to San Juan La Laguna. So as we were mentioning before, San Marcos is kind of like the hippie town. San Juan is a little bit more artsy, colorful, and very hilly. And San Pedro, I guess, is more of like the backpackers town, Panajachel, which is another one that we're gonna go visit later. Apparently that's one of the bigger ones here, so yeah. Oh, this is time. Yeah, it's exhausting. We love the tuk-tuks here and the designs are really cool. This one's my favorite so far. I can't remember if we mentioned this or not before we left, but we're actually staying here with a local family and they have so many cute pets. They've got two dogs, they've got four cats, and they've got two of these tiny, tiny little kittens. Whoa. 
<laughs> I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Got a nipple. If you want to go down, I think we're a bit scared. Literally just the cutest things in the whole world. And we found the sister brother, the twin. <laughs> Haven't figured that out yet. Good morning. Hello. So last night we basically just came home, crashed out, got some sleep. We were planning to do a few other things yesterday, but we ended up getting really tired after cliff jumping and going to San Marcos. So we just came home, we relaxed. We went on the hunt for some churros, but we couldn't find any. So we just went to sleep. I think we barely slept because uh, because of these two little things barking all night. <laughs> yeah, we're ready to conquer another day. We've got a few more things planned today, so yeah, stay tuned. Guys, it's day two now, and we're going to go to another town around the lake. It's called Santa Cruz La Laguna. Hopefully we'll get a nice breakfast and some more beautiful views. to Santa Cruz La Laguna and once again we are greeted with this amazing view of the volcano behind us and what were you saying this one was the recommended best view, they say. yeah this one apparently has the best view so we're gonna go check out for sure to see if that is true or not I am the absolute worst and completely forgot to film our breakfast but we did have a nice breakfast with an incredible view all right it's been a slow start to our morning but we are heading up this hill now we're gonna go see what there is to offer in Santa Cruz La Laguna already such an incredible view. This town looks amazing. I'm not sure Lauren agrees just yet. She's not having too much fun coming up this hill. Ooh, that was hard going. I think we've almost climbed the whole mountain. We've almost made it to the top and maybe we'll get a little cheeky coffee. Part of the town is a lot more local than down by the lake and a lot more steep as well and we have a little friend following us up the hill i think she's a bit shy now though I'm just kind of wandering around right now without any goal or anything but it sounds very steep i can't believe people walk up and down this hill probably every day oh it must have legs of steel it's really nice it's kind of nice to get away from the tourist path for a little bit i don't know what do you think about this yeah it's really nice it's nice to see a local village and something a bit different. It's nice to interact with the locals, which is something we want to do more in the videos, but as I've mentioned a few times in past videos, we're still a little bit shy with filming, so I don't know when it's appropriate to film locals, or we'll improve on that more in the future. So we've come back down to the bottom of Santa Cruz La Laguna here. We're just gonna walk along the waterfront here, along the lake. Apparently it's quite beautiful. It looks like the volcanoes are starting to hide behind the clouds again. It feels like sometime in the early afternoon, almost every day, I guess, maybe the clouds start to cover everything or the haze rolls in, but still quite beautiful. I think this town is actually quite popular for people who like to paddleboard or go kayaking, but I don't think we'll be doing that today. 
Well guys, some of these properties are absolutely amazing. The best view in the world too. We should stay here next time. <laughs> so the trail just kind of ended with a hotel there. We were looking for a place to swim, but I, I don't know if we're going to go anymore because it's really cloudy and I'm a little bit of a baby with cold water. Okay, sit down. So we've just been hanging out on the rocks now for the last like 20 or 30 minutes or so. And we're just about to head to one of the more popular towns here in Lake Atitlan. We're gonna go to San Pedro. Lauren's really in love with the bamboo here. She keeps talking about how it reminds her of Vietnam. Okay, town number four. San Pedro. So we've just come to this place here called Hot Falafel that Lauren recommended. She read online it was apparently very good. We're pretty hungry after walking around Santa Cruz. <laughs> I keep forgetting the name of the town. But yeah, this town already so far feels like super backpackery and a lot more touristy than the other towns we've been to. I swear with all the tuk-tuks here, it really feels kind of like we're in Thailand at the moment. Welcome to Thailand. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about you, but this looks bomb. It looks so Okay guys, we made it back to our Airbnb for the night. San Pedro was a little bit of a bust. We weren't the biggest fans of the town, to be honest. It's kind of like, as I mentioned before, it's like a backpacker town. It's a good place if you want to get drunk and I guess party and the vibes are a little bit more upbeat there, but just not really what we were looking for. Reminded us a lot of Thailand, I guess, and some other places in Southeast Asia that we found. But you know, if you're into that kind of thing, I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun, but it's just not quite what we're into. So, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for part one of our vlog series. Uh, we hope you guys enjoy more of the vlogging style, I guess, you know, we're not really looking to be travel guides or anything like that. We're just trying to have fun with these videos and share our experiences as we're experiencing them. So hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll be back with part two soon. Tomorrow morning, we're going to go zip lining and explore a few other areas. So that should be pretty fun. Hopefully see some wildlife as well. Okay, I'll link our Instagrams down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you guys next time.